Movies. These beloved cultural touchstones bring the world together, telling stories of love, war, and whatever this is. I can't so clever as magic. Every year, the film industry generates billions and billions of dollars in revenue. And I'm not making a freaking dime of it. As some of you may know, I enjoy writing movies. You probably didn't know that because nothing I've ever written has ever been made, but it's really hard out here in this crazy town of Hollywood to get your big break. The movies that I come up with just aren't generating the buzz that I want them to. Now, I've got a couple hypotheses as to why my scripts aren't grabbing the attention of the movers and the shakers of the film industry. The first, my scripts might not be that good. The second, it's probably because my scripts aren't that good. But I'm not one to give up on my dream. Clearly, the ideas I was coming up with before were not working. And I just needed to change my approach. I needed to come up with a movie so good that it was impossible for anyone to ignore. And you'll be happy to know that I figured out the perfect way to change my approach. Instead of trying to be creative and use my imagination to come up with ideas, I used data to create the perfect film. This idea came to me one night when I was watching beginner programming tutorials on YouTube. I said to myself, wouldn't it be cool to write a program that can analyze everything that each of the top movies in history have in common? So that's what I set out to do. I took the best movies of all time, found out what they all had in common, and then I mishmashed all the best parts of the best movies together to create the best movie of all time. Here's how I did it. Step one figure out what the best movies of all time are. I could have just gone with my personal taste on the best movies of all time, but I don't think we would have gotten the results we're looking for if I would have had Hot Rod, Airplane, and all eight Harry Potter movies rounding out the top 10. So I consulted some websites. IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes were the first two that came to mind. I took the top 100 movies from each website and compiled them into one list. I removed any duplicates so I wasn't counting the same movie if it appeared on both websites. And this left me with what we'll call the 172 best movies of all time. Step two, the title. Every good movie needs a gripping title, something to grab your attention so you want to go into the theater and watch the movie. Now that I had my list of the 172 best movies of all time, I took all of the titles and put them into a word counting website. I wanted to find the most common words and phrases in each title. The results were as follows. The most common single words were night, law, upon, and time. Of the appears six times, making it seemingly the most key component in naming a great film. Once Upon a Time In shows up three separate times. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Once Upon a Time in the West, and Once Upon a Time in America. So using these common words and phrases from the best movie titles of the best movies of all time, the data seemed to indicate that the perfect movie title would be Once Upon a Time of the Night. It sounds dark and mysterious, possibly a period piece. but. There was only one real way to find out what Once Upon a Time of the Night would be about. And that was by creating the log line. A log line is a short, typically one sentence long summary of a movie that should give a brief description of the plot and hook you as the reader. It's like when you're flipping through the channels on your TV and you're trying to figure out what you're gonna watch tonight and there's those little blurbs underneath the title of the TV show or the movie, that's basically the logline. For example, the logline for The Matrix is, a computer hacker learns from mysterious rebels about the true nature of his reality and his role in the war against its controllers. So in a separate document, I compiled all 172 loglines from the best movies ever made, and I ran those through a word counting website to find the most common words and phrases to create the perfect logline. This is what came out. The most common words were young, new, help, life. The list goes on and on. I also wanted to see what longer phrases these loglines had in common as well. With the help of appears five times, during World War II and falls in love, each appear three times. A 12 year old race against time and New York City pop up multiple times as well. And the most common name in all of these log lines is Sarah, which appears three times. So using some of those common words and phrases, here are some log lines. A 12 year old girl falls in love with New York City with the help of World War II. No. New York City, young, new, and during World War II, Sarah, the 12 year old policeman embarks on a race against time to find an old man in order to help him fall in love with his son. They didn't come out 
very, they didn't come out great. I reached out to a couple of friends to see if they would have better luck using the data that I collected to create a really good log line. My friend Jay sent me, New York City is falling in love, but this 12 year old girl is in a race against time. And my friend Josh sent me this, Sarah, with the help of Sarah, races against Sarah to stop a 12 year old girl. Also, almost forgot to mention, this project has been in the works for over a year. I sent this email asking my friends for log lines on September 3rd of 2020, but I'll explain why it took so long later on. Anyways, after a few more tries, I settled on this beautiful log line. During World War II, Sarah, a 12 year old living in New York City, must race against time in order to help a group of soldiers fall in love. It's simple, it's a war movie, it's romantic. Soldiers falling in love? Yes, count me in. But it's not enough to just have a perfect title and a spectacular log line. No, no, no. What I also needed was a script. I know what you're thinking. Steve, there's no possible way that you took 172 feature length scripts, copy and pasted them into a document, nearly breaking your computer, spending nine hours over the span of five days, just copy, paste, copy, paste. But I did, I did do that. There were a couple scripts that didn't really Fit. So I had to find bootleg transcripts of the movies that fans made. Like apparently Spirited Away doesn't have an actual script, but just has a bunch of storyboards. Also, did you guys know that the Mad Max Fury Road script looks like this? So after compiling all of those scripts into one document, I was left with over 16,000 pages and 3.3 million words. In this 3.3 million word document were the secrets to writing the perfect movie and I wanted to find the most common phrases and words in these scripts to make the perfect movie. But when I tried uploading this 16,000 page document to that website that counts the words and phrases, I accidentally crashed it. I'm really sorry, website. I looked and looked for other websites that could do the same thing, but none of them could handle the size of this document. Or maybe they just couldn't handle the fact that this document held so much power. Maybe these websites didn't think the world was ready for a movie like this. But it seemed that I reached a dead end. And since I'm a man that lacks any real tangible skills, I decided to reach out to you, my subscribers, and ask for your help. I asked if anyone knew how to make something that would help me sift through this document, to help me collect the data to create the perfect movie. A few of you tried to help me, but nothing I ever tried worked. Discouraged, I just kind of gave up on the project for 14 months or so. And I put it away, put it away, put it away, put it away. But then, out of the ashes, I rose like a phoenix. And I did what any reasonable man in his late 20s would do when trying to make a YouTube video. I asked my dad for help. My dad's a computer genius, and in the span of like three hours, he was able to make a program that was able to find the most common words and phrases in this massive document. And just like that, I was back on track to creating the perfect movie. So, according to science and data, data, what have I been saying? What have, what have I been saying this whole time? According to science and data, the most common two word phrases in all of the best movies of all time are in the, on the, to the, at the, into the, out of, from the, oh. Why did I make this video? This is so boring. I did this for phrases of two, three, four, and five words. I'll quickly show you the results here if you care. These are the phrases that the best films of all time have in common. These are the keys to writing the perfect script and creating the perfect movie. So, without further ado, here is a scene using the most common words and phrases from the best movies of all time from Once Upon a Time of the Night. Enjoy. What are you doing here? What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I'm in love with the soldiers. I don't want to be away from the other men. You don't have to. Do you want me to open the door? No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna kill you if you do. Oh no.
<laughs> What's the plan? Where are you going? To New York. After all, there's no place like home. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Whoa. I mean, yeah, that's just a teaser, a proof of concept, if you will. Listen, I don't have the funds or the filmmaking know-how to bring this perfect film that I've written to life. The story deserves someone like Fincher or Spielberg or Scorsese at the helm. I'm simply the, the scribe that used data to write a, a literally perfect movie. That's why I'm calling on you, the viewer, to take action. Look into my eyes. If this video gets 5 million likes, don't look at me like that. Videos have gotten more than that before. It's not an unheard of amount of likes. If it gets 5 million likes, a movie executive might see it. And they might put up $100 million and hire Tom Hanks to star, or maybe little Timmy Chalamet. It's crucial this video gets 5 million likes, at least. If this video doesn't get 5 million likes and I wasted all that time making lists of words and phrases, nobody cares. Who cares? Why'd I make this video? Make it have 5 million likes. Make it worth my while. Make it worth your while. If you don't, I'm going to lose control. Send this video to 10 friends or you'll have bad luck for a month. Okay, bye.